Hi, I'm Mark Fairhurst, and this is Pip. I went out a couple of days ago, conga fishing, to try and catch an eel. I did a short video of it. I wonder if I actually did get that eel in the end. Right, I'm in Eastbourne Harbour now. Uh, just waiting to go out through the lock. It's absolutely freezing. I've come out of the harbour and I'm on my way to a wreck about uh, it's 8.39 miles and I'm using two HDS live units and at the minute I'm on autopilot um, set up I've got a V3100 uh, AIS system that I do use uh, because I go out in the shipping lanes a lot, but on this particular trip, I'm not going to use it because it's uh, I'm not secret squirrel, but I don't like to uh, know every let everybody know where I'm going all the time. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll uh, it's a little bit uh, brightening up now, so I'll uh, give it a little bit of throttle and we'll uh, we'll get out there. What I use on these units is I use a split screen. A map on one and then I use a split screen on the other so on this one here I've got my radar and I've got that set of four miles uh, that gives me plenty of uh, notice of anything around me um, and it's a superb unit and then I also yeah, use the, um, the steer option so that gives me my uh, arrival time at this speed because I'm only going slow it's showing me 38 minutes and it's 8.16 miles and obviously you'll hear the autopilot is moving and doing its thing um, so yeah i'll try and do some stuff on these units later but it's looking a lovely day i've got a 115 mercury mariner ct on the back so um okay i'm gonna uh i'm gonna get on and get to this wreck just coming up to the wreck now as you can see it superbly on this uh, CMAT reveal. I've already actually marked this wreck out but it should still be flooding so I need to be up somewhere here so I'll see what my drift line is and I'll uh, attempt to put the anchor in. I'll have a couple of drifts and see how I get on. As you can see on the, on the plotter there where I am on the black cursor and if you see on the sounder these little spiky bits coming up that's the start of the wreckage so I'm reckon I'm on the money here um, but we'll just have to wait and see you can see the detail from CMAT reveal it's just outstanding well, what I'm using today is a pen uh, pen fathom it's a lever drag I've got uh, 80 pound braid, a bit overkill, but um, that's what I use. And I use a 100 pound uh, leader. And this is a Dower Kanzaki uh, 80 class rod. Um, it's bulletproof. What I'm gonna put on here, this is that obviously the Tenno Cox and Roll. I've got a squid head on there and I've got a cuttle and I've stabbed it loads of times to obviously to release the ink and the guts and the blood and uh, my lovely muppet. Still using a, I'll probably get away with a pound lead to be honest, but um, I I do like to make sure that my bait is pinned on the bottom. Um, so I'm just gonna go pound and half this rod and reel set up uh, with the twin gear is, uh, is superb. So let's just hope we get a little tap, tap, tap of that rod and uh, then uh, we'll worry about how I'm gonna get it in when I catch it, if I catch it. I've uh, invested in one of these, um, which is a fast find uh, personal location beacon. And obviously I do a lot of fishing out on my own. And uh, 
you know, it's uh, safety's first, you know, I always wear a rotation suit, um, so uh, you can never be too careful, but uh, I've set it up all right, um, it was a couple of hundred quid, but at the end of the day there's no price on your safety, so uh, I'm carrying that on me all the time now, um, just in case, you know, touch wood, nothing ever does go wrong, but uh, it's uh, safety first, you know. Get it in. <laughs> They're the hardest fighting fish in the sea. They're the only ones that can go swim backwards. I hope you can see this. Uh, oh, there's only a bootstrap, but it's nice to, to get one. Beautiful, beautiful animal. That's what I was wanting. There you go. That's what we were here for. So it's not a monster, but let's try and. Uh... Oh look, he's, uh, he's got a cut in his belly. So very predatorial. So uh, let's get him unhooked and I'll uh, try and get a photo. So fantastic fish. I'm just going to put him back. So he's got a cut on his belly there, but there uh, wasn't quite as big as I wanted, but nice to see him go back. That's what I wanted. Fantastic. Oh, that was hard work, full of slime. I made up with that. Oh, I can go home now. It's freezing. to make the lock so uh, I got what I came out for today was, uh, I didn't think I was going to get one at the end of the day but um, we persevered and got it as I said it wasn't quite sitting right you know the uh, the wind and the uh, tide doesn't always you know get you where you want to be but uh, I made it I thrashed it in at 30 knots to get this lock that was nice of them to kick it over for me but uh, yeah, just get cleaned up now. It's absolutely freezing. 